Now we look at putting your own library projects into Modern Develop. I've already got my own personal solution, not the book examples solution started, and I've already copied in the Edition 3.cs into an Edition 3 project in my work solution. I want to go on now to add a library project. I'm in Windows, so I'm right-clicking on the solution. I'm going to add a new project. And here's the difference. It is a library project. And I'm just going to really copy the one from the example one, so it's going to be called UI. I'll kill the file that they create automatically. Delete it completely. And now I'll go to the project and add new files. And I'm going to have to go to the examples solution, find the UI folder, UI.cs and also UIF.cs. And yes, I will copy them. Though so then we've got them in here. We're set. Now to use this library project in the Addition 3 project. We go over to the Addition 3 project. Notice underneath we have the References folder. And you'll see that in the moment, as we've seen in the Examples project, we have the System namespace. First, let's try compiling Addition 3 without adding the reference. I go about to build Addition 3 is it says the name UIF does not exist in the current context. It doesn't know about finding this file. We have that in both of these lines. We will go on and add it to the references. Let me kill this window. So now I'm going to the references under Addition 3 and in Windows I can right click to get the local menu that, and then edit the references. You may initially see all the possibilities, which is an enormous list, if you restrict it to projects in this solution. You see there's only one choice, and I'll select it, say OK. And now let me try to build this again. Build successful. It found the library class that it needed, UIF. We can run it just to see that it really works. This program, remember, it does several can things, and now we're giving it new numbers to add. And there we are. Now, I only needed to add this project UI once into this solution. I can then create many more projects, and in each one, I just need to go and do this thing to edit the references and add it and I can use the code in UI over and over.